Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to talk about Tatsu Chef. Tatsu Chef is a plant-based company within the stock market and is getting a lot of attention from YouTubers and other social media influencers. So I want to discuss why I believe Tattooed Chef is almost a borderline scam, especially in the stock market and how they conduct their business. So as we can see in the chart, Tattooed Chef is down around 2.5% today. It's been down around 10% for the week and is overall in a big downtrend as it's down over 70% from its peak of around $25 a share. So why do I say that Tattooed Chef is a borderline scam? and why I would never invest in Tattoo Chef, regardless of the price. Well, I took a look at their statements, financial statements, and their future product line, and I believe they are headed towards bankruptcy. So let's get started. So if we look at Tattoo Chef's financial statements, first off, just taking you know a quick overall glance, we can see that revenue is increasing. However, one big problem I see is that whenever the revenue increases, uh, their overall earnings per share decreases, which is surprising because their gross profit increases. So many people mistake of the fact that gross profit that is directly linked to EPS. That is true for bigger companies. However, there is operating income that uh, people need to take into account. So as revenue increases, operating income also increases. So that is subtracted from the overall gross profit. So the issues with food industries is that they're usually... Uh, pretty low margin ranging from 15 to 30 percent depending on how well you can scale how well you've been in the industry and uh, what your product is specifically so another problem that we see within tattooed chef is that even though it's a new company their margins are terrible uh, i mean for a new company their gross margins are 9.91 percent and they're yet to turn a profit for example coca-cola's profit margins even at such a big scale is at 25 to 26 percent in the past one or two years and overall it's been averaging around 22 to 23 percent so if a big behemoth like coca-cola can have such high profit margins um, a, co a small company like tattoo chef which can scale uh, can pivot from point a to point b and being in a more you know expensive sector uh, like plant-based meals where each you know an average serving goes for seven to eight dollars Conservatively higher than what coca-cola sells for um, We expect profit margins to be much higher um, I took a look also on why their operating income is you know increasing uh, When they do more revenue, it's because they're trying to do different SKUs and they research more and they put more into R&D However, those efforts have been not fruitful because their highest selling uh, products have been uh, the one their staples including the cauliflower crust pizza however that is still declining their main staples are still in decline uh, and they're not showing growth uh, many people are saying oh the revenue is increasing well it is but you know as more money as they make their gross margins also go much lower and yeah and let me tell you why that's also affecting the shareholder as well so since the inception ipo of tattoo chef through spac at ten dollars a share they have increased their share balance from 28 million shares to 82 million shares. I have yet to hear a Tattoo Chef will talk about outstanding shares. Outstanding shares is the silent killer of all stocks. So essentially what this means is that say, if you have 100 shares of a company that has a total of 1,000 shares, you own 10% of the company. However, if they decide to increase those 1,000 shares into 2,000 shares, then essentially you own only 5% because you own 100 divided by 2,000 rather than the initial 100 divided by 1,000. And you know, this really makes me mad because um, you know going from 28 million shares to 82 million shares, this shows that management has no faith uh, within the company and is just trying to you know get as much cash as they can out of uh, their stock. And I believe management is intentionally doing this to grab as much cash as they can and they don't really care what you know, the stock price is doing. Um, I think this stock price, if it continues the way it is, it'll go easily under a dollar, fifty cents, twenty-five cents. It'll become you know an OTC stock. But you know the company itself would get a lot of money, and management would get a lot of money out of the SPAC listing. So besides those issues, I also think the industry uh, will not succeed. There's been a lot of hype around um, veganism and plant-based diets however 
it is much more expensive for example a pound of um, ground beef compared to a pound of so-called cauliflower beef which is you know the substitute that they use and they try to replicate the taste but it's around six to seven x more expensive you know which is quite ridiculous and um yeah i don't think it's long term very sustainable the audience is dwindling down for sure uh, i think if you want to invest within the food industry you should maybe take a look at beyond meat that has come down a little bit and i still believe those financials are pretty bad um uh, Overall, I think Tattooed Chef is a scam. I would not touch this with the 10-foot pole. However, as you know, markets go up and down, this may rebound or this may even suffer a little bit more. So yeah, uh, that's my analysis, basic analysis on Tattooed Chef. Hope you enjoyed the video and leave a like.